Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Amber Knights, a twin stick slasher action roguelike. It's, you know, for what it's worth, has uh, local and I believe it's going to have online co-op as well. We're going to be checking out just a, a short demo here. It's not going to be too long or nothing, uh, but it just looks so slick. Just even just like the clean pixel art with very like high bright colors i just i i'm a sucker for it what can i say but it kind of like it, it sort of reads especially with the uh the main focus being on you know the, the melee uh, maybe there's i'm sure there's gonna be other characters that probably have some kind of range or something but uh it kind of feels like yeah kind of uh, gonna be more of a cross between like an action rpg and a uh, and a traditional well, traditional and a and a roguelite which is really really slick and if there's any game that can you know be added to the the pantheon of uh, you know like couch co-op games to throw on when you got some people over uh, that hey maybe they happen to be into roguelikes if there's another game for that that sounds fantastic to me uh, and this is really neat. We got ourselves a, a dash, we got ourselves a slash, we got ourselves a charge slash, which, as far as I am aware, it looks like, yeah, it does a... We stun the enemy when we hit him with the old charge slash. We got food on the ground there. 10 HP. All right. So it looked like there was stuff that dropped from these, right? I'm not sure. Not sure, but alas... We got ourselves a crossroads here. We cannot stun, the, cannot stun the thing that is dropping spiders there. Whoop! But yeah, so far so fine. Uh, as far as we're not getting hit too much, but it's uh, it's always interesting to see which route a roguelike goes with HP, either going for the uh, like the full-on health system or just the heart system, something like that. Always interesting to see. Yeah, we, it, it's opted for the the larger, more variable number system, which usually, yeah, uh, it takes place in games where you you might get hit. You know, roguelikes where you you, you might get hit, and it's not going to be the end of the world or something. You know, uh, but you know, we'll, we'll we'll see as far as where it goes for for difficulty. But right now, it's feeling pretty smooth. Feeling pretty smooth. We got. Move speed up, but you cannot, and also you cannot be slowed. That's a, it's a nice way to make an item, take an item that normally is a little, maybe not that exciting. So is this, this would normally slow us. Uh, but yeah, just like a lot of roguelikes have items that are just like, hey, it makes you 10% faster, 5% faster, yada, yada, you know, nothing, nothing too wild. I guess I should have assumed the, these spiders were going to be in here. Nothing too wild like that. Just having that added little thing where, in addition, you can't get slowed is just a nice little nice little bonus to make it a, stand out a little bit more. This is wild. I have it uh, on good authority that there are going to be abilities for us to unlock and utilize as well, or, or spells. Looks like it's going to be right here. Uh, Frost wall, the wall of ice that freezes and damages opponents in its path or summon, or what is it? Missile. Summon orbs of energy that barrage enemy targets and the cast in the direction. This frost wall sounds kind of nice. Let's go for it. Nine. Was that nine second cooldown? Oh, okay. So it actually, it, it straight up creates the wall like that. Oh, this is blocking my movement there. Okay, so we can charge it up. It, it straight up stuns him. Like, does it stun him until we... Oh, my God. We are... We're getting bodied all of a sudden. Because we're just trying to... <laughs> trying to showcase our cool ability here. Okay, that... That guy sucks. Where are you going? Oh, my God. Okay, so he, when he comes out of the ground, he always does that little AoE thing. There we go. We, we <laughs> we're starting to get a little bodied now. So we have a dash slash as well. It's worth noting. We have... We have our normal combo. We have a uh, charge up. It has the meter underneath us there. And if we let go early, it just goes into our normal combo. Otherwise, we get that fully charged one that also does the stun. We can also do the dash slash poke right there. Oh, baby, we love an interconnected rogue alike. You better believe it. 
Give me teleporters all day, every day. I will never be disappointed by that. Okay, so I, yeah, I do wonder, are they? They're not perma-stunned as long as the ice is up, are they? It's pretty dang good. Oh, there we are. I have frozen myself in place there. Yeah, I guess it it, it does. It, it lasts as long as the uh, the ice wall does, which is pretty, pretty long, all things considered. Yeah, we do got HP in there. If you're playing couch co-op with this, I I would say that uh, it might might be tough to have to share all of these dang resources. Maybe you maybe won't have to though. I guess. All right, we're out of here. Maybe there maybe there will be more that drop or something. But having the whole posse going through and breaking all of the destructibles would add theoretically a little bit more uh, fun to the whole finding ingredients and collectibles or not collectibles like HP and money and stuff in plants which is usually something I typically don't love in a, a rogue like if I'm playing single player but hey you know when you have a lot of players and maybe a couple are oh maybe a little bit slower than others gives you something to do while well, you're waiting for for Jimmy to you know figure out how to do a roll we are hurting we are hurting we are hurting bad Oop, there is no uh okay we can click out of the window there can we get it in literally anything there oh okay we could not oh my we are actually probably gonna die here i think i, I thought i was gonna be able to stun him Ooh, okay, so actually... I mean, first of all, that ability is amazing. Okay. So we couldn't stun the guy. Uh-oh. Oh, hello. Please tell me you have an apple. You do not... What's this? Relic. Max HP up. Killing enemies has a chance to burn nearby enemies or receive a random relic. As... As boring as it might seem, getting some HP sounds great. Also, I... I oh, my God. I, I just dashed into the wrong way there. Oh, my God. I respect the fact that uh, we have to fight an enemy to pick up our item. I like that. I actually really... I actually really dig that. Get out of here. This ice wall was amazing. I do wonder, yeah, I wonder, are there different characters for, for co-op? Or is everybody kind of, like, running a roughly similar thing? Like, even if it's just slight differences, like something in the realm of uh, a castle crashers, where the characters are definitely different, but they, you know, they're not bonkers for the most part uh, at how different they are. Like, largely having just whoop, different spells, I guess. But I guess, you know... I don't know. It could also be fun to just sort of split up, because I think we have to split up the items is what that was kind of, uh, what I was gathering there. It, there was the random option that said any amount of players can pick this one. So normally, I guess, you know, not everybody could take that 15 health up or something. But everybody could end up taking the, the random or whatever. Uh, let's get over here. Wait. Okay, we actually cannot shoot through. Oh, by heavens. We cannot shoot through the, uh, the little barricade wall there. All right. Charge him up, charge him up, charge him up. You get out of here, my friend, my friend. All right. We got an apple down here. Don't know if they go away or not over time, so <laughs> gotta run. Okay. Ooh. We have 100 bucks. What is this? 10% chance to burn enemies while attacking, and you can't be burnt. Burnt. Sure, why not? That sounds kind of fun. That sounds kind of fun indeed. Ooh, I did not realize we were walking into a mini boss. All right, what's your deal? Oh, can I? I cannot, uh... I could not freeze him. I cannot freeze him at all. 
I'm not saying we should be able to, per se. Oh! I wish it did something, I guess. Oh, no! Get on through. This is a this is a neat first boss. Well, I guess it's just a mini boss. I'm assuming that that, since he's a vampire moth, that that would be a. Uh... Oh, we beefed it. That would be a, a, a what is it? Life steal aura. Oh my god. Oh, not even close. I'm terrified. Okay, how much money do we get? Well, first of all, we get a whole bunch of HP there. This is nice. I, here's the thing. Like, whenever I play a game that gives me action RPG, like Diablo-esque kind of vibes in its control, uh, there's always like this... I, I always find that it has this weird situation with uh, difficulty and balance and how much you need to pay attention. Like, often, it doesn't feel like you need to care that much if you just build your character right or you're strong enough. You just kind of mash... It definitely feels like that is not the case here. It feels like you do you do need to pay attention to what you're doing. And I'm not saying you don't in Diablo, like it's stuff like that. I'm not saying you don't. But, you know, sometimes you just kind of... Like a build that just sort of plays itself. And maybe you can get there in this game. Maybe. Oh, we were so close to getting the potion. It's okay. It's actually more cost effective to get the meat. Oh, nice. But yeah, I, I love the colors. I love the colors. I don't know how long the demo is here. Bip, bip, bip. Giving me food? Giving me food? Hey. Frozen food? All right, who are we dealing with? Get out of here. Get out of here. So we have we do 50% oh, percent more crit damage. I don't know what our crit chance is. I would imagine it's not too much. Okay. And I'm, I'm not understanding the stun entirely right now. I thought that it was always we would stun with the charge. Yeah, we do always stun with the charge. But we're stunning sometimes with our slash. Maybe our, our second one in the combo? Is our, our second hit in the combo a stun? It's cool, if true. What is this here? Defense up by eight. Don't mind if I do. Oh, man. We're clicking out of that window. Clicking out of that window. Is this a breakable? It is indeed. All right. What is your deal? Some kind of a... Some kind of an elite. There we go. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Good. That was the guy who shoots out the uh, the big old goo ball. Get out. So this guy's going to dash towards us, sort of. Can we stun him? We can. Hey, gotcha. Better up. Better up. I, I love that. Uh, the ice stun. So we can keep him in place. That'd be key. Keep him in place and just literally stand there charging. A key is 50 bucks. Or special rooms are shown on the map. What is this? 50 health. Now that is cost effective. Want to get him stunned before he does anything funny. Oh. Ah, did he get away? We are, we are beefing it here. We are beefing it here. I can't get over. Good stuff. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, my God. He unfroze fast. We're beefing it. We may need to go for that potion after all. Depends on what you got. Ew. Thanks a lot, Adventure. You have almost nothing. Come on, dead guy. Have better loot. Okay. Um. Well, we know it's not a boss at the very least. Okay, so we can go for it. So there's some kind of, like, upgraded, uh... Ooh, that felt good. Okay, well, that didn't. That hurt it. In fact. Okay. Yeah, that's the thing. When they unfreeze, they can get back to their attack really quickly. We need to... We need to keep that in mind and not get too greedy. 
All right. 40 HP out of 90, about 51 HP out of 90. Should we go back to the shop? Maybe. Oh, that guy made it through. Okay, don't be greedy. All right. Oh, nice. Okay. As, as simple as some of the uh, options and combos are, we're able to get like a lot uh, done here. And it looks like we can get a second ability, too. That That's huge, actually. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, there needs to be a... Uh... Sure, I'll turn that off, I guess. Uh, Sure. There's no... Lock mouse to screen button. That, or a button, I mean, option. That that should be changed, I guess. It's, it's not a major thing, but I don't know. I would appreciate it for sure. God, here, is this, a, is this a relic room? Yes. Defense up, 10% damage and versus boss and elite. Also, there's a skull. Okay, as fun as that sounds, let's see. Um, actually, I want it. What does the skull do? God only knows. Is it that we have to fight this purple? We had to fight that that purple boy who then exploded. Some kind of elite. Some kind of super elite, I guess. Because we already have the... Um... Oh, that felt great. Oh, that feels great. Yeah, I feel like maybe it's just uh, we have to do a really... A tougher challenge here, but being balanced out by the fact that a lot of these guys are dropping like a very frequent amount of health. I kind of dig that system usually for for health though like you take uh you take damage often or, or like not often but like it's totally expected that you might take a decent amount of damage. Uh I'm going to keep for later. I guess I don't know for a fact that there is a later but I'm going to assume that there's a later and that this is not the end. But yeah, what was I saying? That whole, uh, you know, you're, you take a decent amount of damage from here and there, but uh, nice. There, There's health all over the place as well. It's not, like, it doesn't feel like it's down to RNG whether or not you get, like, a, a heart drop when you happen to need it. It's just, don't make too many mistakes in a row. If Like, if you're gonna make mistakes, give yourself, like, uh, do well for a while. Otherwise, you're screwed. I like that idea. It's kind of like, uh, you know, like you can you can get hit. At, you can get hit every once in a while. Just don't get hit ten times in a row if you get hit or like whatever. However many times in a row, ten is pretty pretty large. We get another spell, which is pretty cool. Uh. Oh, we can level up our frost wall. I mean, that sounds fun, but... Small earthquake that stuns and damages creatures in its radius. We're definitely going to go for that for now. Okay. Oh, yeah. Just just having the uh, a second ability there. Cooldown to, uh, to care about is pretty nice. Oh, that's... That is fun. Yeah, just getting getting a second one. You wouldn't think that it would make that big of a difference, but having two abilities, the cooldowns are relatively short enough that they're they're a pretty integral part of your toolkit. So what you pick there is is kind of a big deal. So I wonder I wonder how many of those they are gonna have. We may be going into the boss fight here. Nothing happens when you pick up health at full HP, I'd imagine. And I don't think we can get any more things in the shop if I were to guess. All right. On we go. For the record, I, I know that the demo is not too long. Uh, and this is going to be a very short video because I, I intentionally picked this one because I knew it was, wouldn't be too long and I don't have a whole lot of time here. So 
It does not say anything about the quality if uh, this is the end of the demo and I and I can't do another run. I want to make I want to make that entirely clear. I love this, and I think uh, playing this in co-op especially, I could see being a wonderful time. I cannot wait for this to come out. Uh, hold on, where are we at for? What, what, is it fall fall twenty twenty one? Coming out fall 2021. This is a uh, uh, next fest demo. So, yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. Pretty dang neat. Pretty dang neat. One to four player co op. Well, I mean, it's not really one player co op, but you know what I'm saying. All right. In we go. Let's see what kind of boss we have to deal with. We have. Uh, we got this. We got that. All right. I have a sneaking suspicion we are not going to be able to stun the boss with either. What is this? Oh, you're just telling me that we have the loot down here. All right. Well, hello there, friend. Oh, my God. Scourge of the Forest Corrupted Weaver. This is terrifying. Get out. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is cool. Oh, my God. Okay, he hits hard. Okay. Bang. Bang. Get out. Charge up slash. Get out. Oh my god, yeah. See, doing this with a uh, with a group of friends. So cool. Okay, so we actually have a reason to to care about our stuns now. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. What do we Oh my god, it is this is no joke. I actually can see myself dying easily here. And, like, could that be potentially the byproduct uh, of making something harder for the case of a demo? Certainly. A lot of uh, a lot of demos love to do that. To make it feel like there's a reason to play a second time. Oh, my God. No. All right. They drop health... A lot of uh, bosses that have ads in them always feel like they have the ads drop health. But this guy is not feeling like he's being so generous. There's an apple. No. No! He is stopping my ice there. Which is very rude. Ugh. I'm beefing it. I'm beefing it. I'm so I'm so screwed. Okay. All right. Oh my god. Oh my god. One health and a dream. One health and a dream. Let's go. Not even close. One health and a dream. Tempo Bangle, a legendary relic. Killing enemies increases attack speed by 10% for five seconds. Stacks three times. Oh my god. Woo, boy. Oh my god. And demo done. Demo, demo is indeed done. Totally understood. I will say, very cool though. Oh my god. So are these, is this a different zone? And so that's a different playable character. Playable character. Yeah. See, there we go. He's got a bow. You got boomerangs or glaives or something. You got kind of the more standard sword, but even that looks different. And then there's a fire sword up there. Uh, you know, like sure. <laughs> I, I will, I will do that. Good stuff. But alas, as said, I it was a very intentional. I only had a very small amount of time to record, so we picked a a shorter demo there from the the next fest. But that is incredibly promising. I I cannot wait for that to uh, to come out. As mentioned, fall twenty twenty one. Uh, that's gonna be pretty close. That's actually that is not too far out. Not too far out. 
Fast-paced multiplayer dungeon crawler with roguelite elements, emphasizing fluid hack slash combat, fast movement, powerful spell attacks. Uh, yeah, what I what I really really am enjoying is it does feel like that kind of action RPG kind of draw, but it does feel like what you're doing when you're attacking, when you're dodging, where you are, where you're placed matters like a lot, and I I enjoy that. I I enjoy that it matters, uh, and it it feels actually potentially difficult i i could not tell you how how cool it sounds to play this in in co-op when it comes out that's maybe something that's probably going to be how i maybe how i choose to play it uh but dang very very cool i cannot wait but alas that is that that is going to do it here for today my name is retromation i cover all kinds of indie games every single day with an extra specialty on roguelike so if that is your jam make sure to subscribe you get a cool new game in your inbox in your dang youtube inbox what do they call it sub box every single day if youtube behaves <laughs> you'll like my channel but your wallet probably will not thank you oh my god it's it's a short video but that's that's what i uh, god feels weird but thank you thank you i'll see you next time bye